in there. Yeah. And, and you have it with friends. And okay, so if I take a picture, my my eyes are going to look uh, red or, or hit the light from the camera, like most people do. Yeah. Uh, but their pictures, their eyes don't change. No, they're they're black. They just stay pure black, and everybody else around them will have light reflecting off their eyes. Yeah. And they stay pure black. And they and I saw an interview with her on Larry King, and I couldn't believe how strange and weird and twisted she was. Barbara she was Bush. one of those people born without a personality. I mean, <laughs> she just absolutely had no personality at all. I mean, she was really scary. And, well, uh, well, you'd have to be something wrong with you to marry Michael Jackson anyways. But oh, what's going on with the Jackson thing? What is it with his huge left hand? Or is it his right one? I don't know. It, it's an enorm- I don't know what to make of that. But it's an anomaly in itself. Yeah. He's, <laughs> um, well, he, he's, he's trying to see when the, the gods came down after the flood and they mated with humans, uh, the records show that they were white, uh, white uh, Caucasian bearded uh, gods, right? Mm-hmm. Now we got Michael Jackson, who's Michael the Archangel, uh, you know, play on words, and, and he's trying to look like white. Well, he was, he spent some time a year or two ago at, at the one Illuminati guys in, in Italy, I think it's, what's his name, Bisconi or Biscani or something, mm. and, and he spent some time at this, this high Satanist, high occultist, high Illuminati guy's mansion for quite a while. Wow. Well. And so what's he have to do with these alien freaks? Because they're all, you know, we know them as alien freaks, they're all hybrids. And here Michael Jackson's out there spending time with these people. Well, yeah, yeah, and they're all, they're all, they're, their only goal is to bring forth Satan's kingdom on earth because they want a piece of the pie, and and they want to rule in that kingdom. Do you think and Michael has days. been taken over by one of them? You know, you refer to it as skull, soul scalping? Because he's yeah. clearly not the same person, the same kid we saw growing up. Yeah, no, there, there's a... This is the thing, uh, when another spirit enters, I mean, as a walk-in or, 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 or swapping souls uh, or spirits, uh, they will change, the, they will try to change the body to look like, you know, the way they want. Yeah, well, uh, you know, for years we just thought he was trying to look like Liz- Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> oh, he, yeah, he definitely, um, definitely got problems. <laughs> but it, it's not, see, everybody says, oh, it's mental illness. No, it's the personality of the fallen spirit within. Yeah, the spirit that takes over them. Yeah, and it, it, but everybody, it, it, the, the cover-up is, oh, well, it's mental illness. No, it's not mental illness. Most of these guys, uh, the interviews of, of rock stars, they always make mention in their songs or in interviews or something about voices in their head. And the voices tell them what to do. There was a uh, excellent uh, interview with the guy from uh, uh, Brian. What's his name from the Beach Boys? And he said the voices in his head were always there, telling him what to do, well, helping him. And then in the end, they were just you know, die, die, die. <laughs> so the Beach Boys was done. They were trying to kill him. Yeah, and, uh-huh. and and that's not mental illness. I mean, we're yeah. dealing with a spiritual aspect of. And as I say, the, the, the personality of reptilians is, is, is a complete psychopath. And psychopaths are so common nowadays that they, only 3% of them will kill. Uh, the other, uh, other percentage will just be your friend and destroy you, like quietly. And then once they destroy you, your life, they make themselves look like the victims. Yeah, they feed off of you and then make you look like you're crazy. They're vampires. They're spiritual vampires. They just suck the life out of you. Yeah. And they, they're, they're so twisted and negative, and, and they're always scheming and using, manipulating. And, <laughs> well, what's and the chances everywhere. of them assimilating into our society and you yeah. really not knowing they're here because they just mind their own business? That isn't going to happen, is it? And there's, there's uh, oh, what's his name? Who, who oh, what, wrote that book? Oh, what, yeah, I'm having a real blank day. His harp turned up high or something. But, <laughs> oh, what's his name? He wrote a book on, on hybrid. Um, oh, what was his name now? But he, he got pointed out, uh, he's documented how uh, he says, well, I used to be sort of a happy guy. <laughs> but now he says, I've seen the bigger picture and, and about hybrids in our society and stuff. And he says, now 
I'm fearful. I am absolutely depressed and fearful because I I've seen firsthand that what you know how they're manipulating society. Is that Doctor Morrow? That, pardon me. Doctor Morrow. Oh, on the island of Doctor Morrow. Island of Doctor Morrow. That was by H. G. Wells, and H. G. Wells was that was clearly an Illuminati. Illuminati insider, there's no argument about that. Yeah, he had a lot of inside information, and, and everything he said was basically prophetic, because he knew what was coming down. Yeah, and here they're, they're cross-breeding humans with animals on a secret island, you know, in the, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, well, you know what, I've heard of, well, this one says island of, of Dr. Murrow. I've heard of, of islands, uh, what is it, the... Uh, uh, there's, there's a set of islands out there where it's, it's the securities that you can't even get near. Solomon Islands? Mm -hmm. uh, where they have a base or where there's, there's a breeding, some, something about uh, the bases out there, about the Solomon Islands. Yeah. They're, and I'm not even sure where they're at. I'm geographically completely illiterate. I can yeah, name I my neighbors time, around my state. All these about different it. species and things are just going to come to the surface and present themselves. And they're going to be part of the, the you know, the intermingling. Uh, David Jacobs, that's who I was trying to think of. Ex excellent book, um, and, and his his interviews and stuff are just awesome about how he's done a lot of research on the hybrids and stuff and how they've just, just infiltrated society <laughs> to such an extent. And so basically, what it is is it's a war that's coming to a head. It's going to be the Lord's people against Satan. Exactly. It's a war against the seeds, and, it, and it's coming to a head. And this whole tribulation period that's coming. It's going to be a full-scale war against Satan's seed, against the Lord's. Yeah, and the, the idea is that they want to just eradicate all humans off the face of the map. Yeah, and they want to get rid of all of humans and, and take over the earth for themselves. Yeah, because it, 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 uh, it, it's a war for uh, ownership of the earth. Um, they, they feel they have the deed and title uh, for ownership of, of the earth. And in, in the book of Enoch, uh, Satan is clearly perturbed over the fact that uh, uh, dominion of the planet is given to Adam. Yeah. I mean, he's just absolutely off his rocker over it. <laughs> he said scheming back then from day one. Oh, he was going to destroy the, it. From the very moment. And, and the whole idea is just to eradicate us. And the first thing he did was impregnate Eve. It, it, pardon me? The first thing he did was impregnate Eve. Yeah. And set his own seed line here. And people and, and can read Genesis 3.15 and dance around it as much as they want to, but there's clearly a seed line of Satan's on this earth. That, that seed line is the pure bloodline of the, 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 the Nephilim. That is the purest bloodline that comes later down the road. It's called the Illuminati. And that's the ones we're dealing with today, the world's rulers. Yeah, They're all the, from the seed line. The 13 bloodlines of the Illuminati. Yeah, see, it, it all... It just, it just circles together and it loops together and it, everything starts to make sense for people. Mm. Well, thanks for being on the show this week, Rick. Oh, thanks for having me. Appreciate you having you on. You want to yeah, give everybody the name of your on. book and your website again? Yeah, it's uh, uh, the book's Return of the Star Gods. You can order it if you want at uh, www.stargods.org. Don't get confused with calm and .org. <laughs> All right, well, thanks a lot for being on the show. Yeah, thanks. All right, bye-bye. Bye. And that wraps it up for this week, folks. I hope you were as, as blessed as I was. Rick Vizzuti, stargods.org. Excellent material on his website. Check it out, folks. You can order his book, Return of the Star Gods, at, uh, at his website. We'll be back next Monday night, same time, 9 o'clock to 11. Don't forget I have a show tomorrow at 2 o'clock Eastern. Aliens in the News. You can catch that at aliensinthenews.com. Um, we'll see you next week, everybody. God bless.